Okay. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. First things first, I just want to say congratulations to Kate Volman. I bought 16 copies of her original book when it came out. So excited about that and gave it to each of the 16 women who came to my Women's Weekend Renewal Retreat in 2022. And this year will be no different in 2023, where every woman who comes will get a copy of Kate Volman's new book, and I'm so excited to be able to do that. That goes right into what we are talking about today, which is I am ordained to serve. I'm going to say it one more time. I am ordained to serve. And I'm serving that up to each and every one of you all as today's affirmation for each and every person here. I am Lolita E. Walker. I'm a certified life leadership and executive coach. I am also a power speaker, TEDx speaker, author, podcaster, mommy, PhD student, instructor, uh, board of education, vice chair, and all of the things I could go on and on and on. But today, the reason why I'm telling you all of these amazing things is because you too wear so many hats. And today I want to remind you, I am ordained to serve. Now, what Kate already just talked to us about is the fact that, guess what? We are living our dreams. There are all these seven myths that she has, but many myths inside of the world that keep us from pursuing our dreams and doing the things that we absolutely love, doing the things that God has already put inside of us, doing the things that are going to help us to show up and show out differently because our story is not our own. Today, I want to talk to you about I am ordained to serve. So I want to say hey to my Facebook community, Coaching Cocktails and Conversations, to my podcast crew, to Breakfast with Champions who are right here. And there's over 200 people who are listening to the voice of me right now and all of these power speakers that are coming throughout the course of the day, to my LinkedIn family, to my YouTube family, to every single person that is listening in and then going to get the replay back. Today, I'm leaving you with five key strategies on how you are ordained to serve. OK, you are ordained to serve. So the affirmation that we are starting today with and wherever you are, I want you to repeat this out loud is I am ordained to serve. I am ordained to serve. So ordained is about ordering and being appointed and being guided to. Yes, you are being guided to something. And even my 10 year old son, I was talking to him last night about where is it that your passions lay? I'm visiting 23 schools in, in 90 days that I'm serving for on, in my board position. And as I go here, I see these amazing scholars and they're driven. They're just driven to the things that they absolutely love. They're driven to pre-engineering, uh, biomed. I was at a, a school yesterday and they talked about these 19 programs that they have for these high school seniors. And when you walk in, in your ninth grade year, you can declare, I'm going to call it a major. And that is what your four years are for. Career technical education. A cosmetologist, you're graduating with your certification. HVAC, you're graduating with your certification. Electrical, pre-engineering, all of these amazing programs. Culinary, you are ordained to serve. What if you knew that you were ordained, you were destined, you were ordered, you were appointed by God, you were guided to, to serve? And when we talk about, when I talked to my friend Google this morning, Google said, guess what? Serving is to be employed by or perform duties for, be in service for or working for. And what I'm suggesting to you today, what if you were here to serve? to serve all mankind, to serve it up with a little bit of Lolita on top of it, to serve it up with a little bit of Crystal and Kate and, and Scott on top of it? What if you knew without a shadow of a doubt that I am ordained to serve? All right, this is 30 minutes of pure power. So wherever it is that you are, grab your coaching cocktails and conversations journal. If you don't have it, head on over to lolitawalker.com slash shop. But we are going to go all the way in. And of course, we start off with some shout outs. So uh, I have Facebook user that's saying, good morning, Lolita. Well, good morning. Good morning, Dr. Um, <laughs> Dr. Walker. I love it. You guys are pushing into me. PhD student on the way. Yes. Thank you, Jacqueline Underwood. She said, yes, I am ordained to serve. And as usual, Jenny, Dr. Jeannie, is on the ones and twos, and we absolutely appreciate all of that. I am ordained to serve. So the S today, we're talking about saying this thing all out loud. What Kate just talked to us about is, listen, stop holding on to your dreams. Leap into where it is that you say that you want to go. Listen, the door is right here. I talked to you all the last, the other week about these keys. They're just dangling in front of us, but there's fog, there's distractions. There's our thoughts that are in front of us and in, in preventing us from seeing all the keys that we walk by every day. 
But it's through lessons like this, it's through accountability like this, that's going to give us access to these keys that are right in front of us. And now we're going to open up the door to the endless possibilities that are there. We're going to serve it up because we know, we trust, and we believe. The say it out loud is what is up front. Say it out loud and simply. Sometimes we get ourselves caught up because we say it out loud, but then it's like, okay, I'm going to start a podcast. Uh Uh-huh. Well, I don't know how to do the tech. Well, I got to make sure I got to talk to a couple of people and see which was the best platform that they went on. No, we're going to say it out loud. By December 31st of 2023, I will be a podcast host, period. Done and done. And then we're going to say it out loud in front of all of these people because they are going to help us hold ourselves accountable. Yes, is it scary? Yes, but it's affirmative. It's declarative. And it is exactly where it is that you say you want to be. You say you want to be uh, a podcast host. Why? Why is it important for your voice to be in the world? Well, what I'm suggesting to you today is don't overcomplicate it. I want you to say it out loud. Hold yourself accountable. Confirm the date that you will have this done and continue to say it out loud. I remember when I was right here in front of each and every one of you all and I said, "Ah, I will be Dr. Walker. And I kept on saying it, kept on saying it, kept on saying it until Sean Shapiro said, okay, Lolita, you keep on talking about it. Have you applied? And I share this story all the time because there's power in saying it out loud. Today, we're talking about I am ordained to serve. And how are you serving? How are you serving? Well, the first is that I want you to say it out loud. I remember that. And I remember he pushed me and it was not only one time, but then it was multiple times. And it was hundreds of people that were listening to the sound of my voice and they continued to say it. Then they continued to call me Dr. Walker. Then they continued to be like, okay, Lolita, you said you're going to do it. How are those applications going? Oh, you got that scholarship. That's great. Then somebody else says, well, I'm a PhD mentor. Okay. Dr. Suki. As a matter of fact, I want you to call me every single Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. until you are inside of your first class. I can't make that up. The S about serving is saying it out loud. How will you serve if you're not clear in where it is that you're going? Say it out loud and say it simply because the help that you need will come to you because it's scary with that leap in that S of serving is saying it out loud. I love it. Dr. Jeannie said, uh, it's, it is not a half an hour power. You bring the power in the first half a minute. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Jeannie. We are continuing forward in the E because I know you got the S and I want you to think about what is it that I'm going to say out loud today? What is it that by December 31st of 2023, I am going to declare because I am here, I am ordained to serve. And these five strategies that I'm giving to you is how we are going to serve it all the way up in 2023, because there's too much impact to make when I'm speaking to my clients, my power clients, my power women that are coming and I'm grabbing all of this greatness out of them and replaying it right before them. So now they can leap my clients who are in, uh, in organizations and they say, Lolita, I need you here because I need to shift my organization to to some new action. I need their clarity, their confidence and their commitment to just shine. Those things right there, I want to help you to serve in the most amazing of ways. Today is about being, knowing, trusting that you were ordained to serve. The E is about executing the work. Now, come on, somebody. Now, we talk about it, but we got to be about it. Lolita, you want to be Dr. Walker, so do the work. I'm talking about it, but it was Dr. Sean Shapiro who came and said, do the work. Do the work. And then it was others like Jackie who just said Dr. Walker or somebody else that comes and says, how are you doing? Somebody else on a journey that says, I know what you're going through. This academic hazing on 55 over there. I know what it is that you're going through. How can I help you? Every single day, you are armed with enough information to take a couple of nuggets and to leap in a different type of way. When I think about that, I think about Justin Conoco, who's real estate. When I think about that, I think marketing. I think Kim Walsh Phillips. When I think about small business expertise, I think Ramon Ray. When I think about cars, 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 I think I think Scott Simons. When I think about um, inspiration, motivation, inspiration, I think about Glenn Lundy. What do I think about when I say your name? Today is about serving, but it's about being clear, being confident, being committed in where it is that you are. So when you serve, how you serve, if you serve, 
And I want to know, what am I coming to you for? If the world is confused on what it is that they're coming to you for, they won't come, right? When I say your name, what am I associating with that? Ask somebody. Because maybe you're not yet showing up in the world to serve. Maybe people aren't being attracted to you because they're confused on what it is that you ask about. I'm gifting coaching, cocktails, and conversations. Coaching is all about giving you a couple nuggets to challenge your thinking a little bit differently. Cocktails is not so much about what you're sipping on, but it's more about celebrating the greatness of who it is that you are inside of this moment. And then conversations is the juiciness of who it is that I am because this is the dialogue that I appreciate. When you come to Lolita E. Walker, you're getting clarity, you're getting confidence, you're getting commitment. What is it that I associate with you when I say your name? I want you to think about that because as you serve, we're showing up this year, 2023, we're showing all the way up. We're planting our feet on the ground and we're making sure that when Lolita walks in the room, when Kim walks in the room, when Scott and Kate and Crystal and Christine and Mary Lynn and Renee and Cor, when they walk into a room, they're going to leave a little bit of them inside of it. I am ordained to serve. All right. The S was about saying it out loud and saying it simply. The E was about executing the work. And then it's through accountability. Accountability comes because, yes, you have decided that you are going to say it out loud. The R is about remembering your five W's. Who, what, when, where, why. Now, I love the how, but for the how, we're going to move that to the side because that's the plan, okay? First, it's all about accountability. First, it's all about getting clear. So it's who, it's what, when, where, why. It's so important. Who are you serving? Who's doing the work? What is it that you're serving? I am ordained to serve. Well, what is it that you're serving up every single day? What is it that you're serving up to the world? What is it that you're serving up for you? I talk to you about when I say somebody's name, I know exactly what it is that I'm going to them for. So what is it that I'm coming to you for? When? When can they get it? Is it 24-7? When can they get it from you? Where? Where are they going to go in order to get this service that you're, that you're serving up every single day? Who? Your what? Your when? Your where? Your why? Why is it important that they come to Lolita E. Walker? Why is it important that they come to you, right? That is so critical in what it is we're doing every single day. Dr. Jeannie said, making it plain here on the Lolita show, hashtag absolutely, on the way to being a podcast host, have recorded three sessions, three more on February 15th, and she is dropping episodes by February 28th, 2023. You can call me on it, Lolita. Absolutely. And guess what, Dr. Jeannie? Congratulations. Let us know what the name of your podcast is. And on February 28th, guess what? We have three new podcast episodes that we can hear from Dr. Janie. What is she doing inside of this moment? Following the serve, following the serve. She's saying it out loud. She's already executing the work. She's giving accountability. Yes. And then she's remembering her why. She's remembering her five W's. And I am encouraging each and every one of you all to shift your thinking and do it a little bit differently this time. It will shift you, everybody. I tell you that I am ordained to serve. I am ordained to serve. Know it, trust it, believe it. The S was about saying it out loud and then saying simply. Saying it simply. You don't have to put a lot of extra into it. Say it simply. Say it loud. Say it proud. Make it known. The E is about executing the work and then through accountability. The R was about remembering your five W's, who, what, when, where, why. The how will come, who, what, when, where, why. The V, venturing beyond where others said that you could. Venture beyond where others said that you could. Now, if you know me, if you've been following me for any stretch of the imagination, then you know I have one of my favorite quotes of all times by none other than Lolita E. Walker in my 40-card deck of affirmations. But it says, I am the greatness that others have yet to see. I am the greatness that others have yet to see. So what they haven't seen it yet. 
So what they haven't seen it yet. I am ordained to serve. When you know that, when you trust that, when you believe that, I can't say it more and more, when you know that, when you trust that, when you believe that, when you're standing on the foundation of your greatness, when you're standing on the foundation of you, you show up differently. This is about venturing beyond where others said that you could. I can't tell you that even, I think I, uh, when did my podcast come out? I think it was 20... I don't know. I think I'm two years in. So what's this 2022? So maybe 2020, maybe 2019, my podcast came out. And I remember I was looking on my vision board and it said that by the end of that year, I'm trying to look for it. Um, by the end of that year, it said that I was going to be a podcast host, right? I was telling the world by the end of that year, by, by the end of that year, December 31st, I was going to be a podcast host. And I tell this story often, but when I remember in May, I remember it was May and my my vision board, my be me board of which I call it was hanging up inside of my office. And I just turned around and I'm looking at it, you know, as you wander around the room and I'm looking and I see that microphone that says podcast host. And I said to myself, today is the day. Why am I waiting until December 31st again? Today is the day. I called an, an amazing podcast host I knew at the time and I said, hey, what platform do you use? She said, Castos. I said, oh, okay, thanks. Went on there, booked a subscription, and I started talking. And I released. Done and done. Boom, you're a podcast host. Do the work. You see it on your vision board. You've already said it out loud. Do the work. That's the E, execute. Execute what it is that you said out loud. Why? Because you know your why. Why are you sitting on it? Your gifts, your words are for somebody else. There's somebody I know that is listening today that is now renewed in a different type of way. Now they're renewed on what their actions are for 2023. Now they're renewed for this presentation that they have to do today. Now they're renewed because somebody told them that they couldn't along the way. If you ask me, would I be a two-time author? I'd be like, mm, probably not. If you ask me if I would have a book of words and poetry that will really shift people to talk to the innermost parts of them, dear limiting beliefs, dear black girl, dear God, if you asked me if I would be able to do that, I would have told you, mm, not really. I don't see it in my future. I'm going to add it to my to-do list. But somewhere along the way, I remember someone telling me, Lolita, your words are powerful. Somewhere along the way, I remember that there was a year where three people told me that something that I said prevented them from committing suicide. Somewhere along the way, I paused long enough to remember that, yes, my words have impact. And if that is a gift that God has already given me, how dare I not serve? I am ordained to serve. And so are you. Today is about these five strategies that I want to give to you because I'm leaving you with the power affirmation of I am ordained to serve. Yes, a Facebook user said, yes, no more waiting. I am getting into that. Uh, another Facebook user said, I am ordained to serve. Jackie said, yes, time for a shift. And that she loves that I am the greatness that others have yet to see. I am the greatness that others have yet to see. So when you know that, you start relying on how people see you, but you start relying on the fact that I know without a shadow of a doubt that I am ordained to serve. That S, that E, that R, that V, that E. So that E is about experiencing your service. Now, when I talked to you all not too long ago, I talked about experiencing your impact, experiencing how you serve in the world. Now, here's the thing. Not everybody sees how they show up in the world yet. Not everybody believes that they know what their power, their passion, and their purpose is and know that that's okay. I work with power women every single day in order to find exactly what that is. But here's the juiciness of it all. And this is the secret that I want to leave with each and every person that is here. It is already inside of you. When you hear power speakers come on and they're pouring into you, they're giving you strategies in order to lift your business, in order to take you six figures higher, in order to move you into a different space, in order to elevate you beyond where you stand, in order to get you inside of another career, in order to really give you the blessing that is already inside of you, remember that it is already there. You looking for help? Look into your community, look externally to your community, but it's all about experiencing your service experiencing it. So if you don't know what it is that you are here for, then reach out, ask somebody, hey, how do I show up? 
What's one strength you know that I have without a shadow of a doubt? Hey, guess what? I heard this amazing speaker today. Her name was Lolita E. Walker. I added that in there so that you guys can know how to talk about it today. But I, I, I heard somebody today and they challenged me with this question and they asked me, what are three strengths that I know without a shadow of a doubt? And guess what? I couldn't even answer them. But I want to ask you today, what is one strength that you know I have? And so here's the juiciness of it all. How, how do you know that? What did I do to tell you that? Your job is not to challenge the good. People are letting you know what they see in you. So what I'm suggesting to you today and offering you for consideration is what if now you remember that I am ordained to serve? Hmm. How is your day going to shift? I am ordained to serve. Now, amazing power women who come to my Women's Weekend Renewal Retreat, guess what? You get this type of power every single day, every single moment for four all-inclusive days. And so I encourage anybody listening to the sound of my voice that if this is what it is that you need in order to challenge yourself to leap differently, in order to go up another echelon because you are absolutely worthy, in order to rediscover the power of your voice, in order to sit in the power of your pause, in order to really hone in on clarity plus confidence equals commitment, then I want to invite you in September every single September on the third weekend, go to lolitawalker.com slash retreats. I would love to see you. In the meantime, in between time, these tidbits every single week, these power half an hours absolutely can grace you a little bit of amazingness. Group coaching gives you a little bit of amazingness. When you start to say it out loud, then you start to recognize who are the resources that are going to help me along my journey. Who are the resources where I want you to look around today? Whether you're on um, LinkedIn, look around today. Who are the people in your LinkedIn community? You got a lot of them. When's the last time that you went through your connections? Most of us have over 3,000 people there, but who are they? Can you leverage them in where it is that you're saying that you're going? It doesn't matter if you have 3,000, 10,000, or 50. If you are on, first of all, are you at the table? (laughs) <laughs> are you at the table? Are you at the LinkedIn table? Get on there. Get into the game. If you're not already at the table, then you don't have the community yet who's going to help you to push. We're talking about serving. We're talking about saying it out loud, but who are you saying it to? I am the community. You are the community, right? You are the community. So I want to encourage everyone who is sitting here today to remember that I am ordained to serve. Yes. So Jackie said, I know my three strengths. You helped me with that. I did. And there's power in it. There's power in it. So let me just go ahead and shift on over right here. Renee said, I am definitely going to ask my friends today, what are my three strengths? I know resilience. So I do need to ask my friends and my family today. So here, Renee, Miss Hayes, let me let me suggest this to you since you're doing a little bit of soul work. That's what I like to call it. And I love the fact that you that you have said this out loud is so, you know, without a shadow of a doubt that resilience is one of your top strengths. So I am resilience. I am resilience. I want you to own it. The I am denotes ownership. So I am resilience. And then that second sentence I would love for you to do is that why are you resilience? Like, how do you show up in that? So if you type it here, I'll give you um, I'll give you another opportunity. I'll come back for that one. I love it. So Ramona says beyond powerful. The atmosphere is shifting. I love that. Guess what? That to me, one of my strengths is the power of my words. How do I know that? Because I get feedback like this. How do I know that? Because I've experienced it. And so the key is once you know your strengths, I want you to now experience that from you. Lolita, how are you experiencing the power of your words every day? That is the test. Sometimes we serve, we serve, we serve for others so much that we forget to serve for ourselves. How are you showing up in the marketing space? How are you showing up in the corporate space? How are you showing up in the education space? How are you showing up with all of your strengths? And are you taking time to pause and refill yourself with what the gifts are that God has already ordained you with? You are ordained to serve. I love that. Tracy said, I am the greatness that others have yet to see. Hashtag absolutely. I am the greatness that others have yet to see. They're bad that they haven't seen it yet. Does it mean I'm not going to show up in it? Mm -mm, It doesn't. 
in their time, they will see it. But I want you to keep on going. Keep on going. There's somebody today that wants to quit in what it is that they're doing. They want to quit inside of their passion. And I want to remind you that mm -mm, we don't have time to quit because there is someone that's looking at you that has yet to say it. Years from now, somebody might come to you and say, you remember that time you said this? You remember that time I went to your webinar? You might not have ever known, but I went to your webinar and you changed my life. Through your gifts, through your talents, through your expertise, through your knowledge, you've got to claim it first because when you keep on showing up, I don't care if you have one person that's watching you on YouTube. I don't care if you have one person at your webinar. You're going to record that thing and then you're going to keep on playing it because people will come. Your tribe will come. I love that. Cheryl said, execute. Del Elizabeth said, yes, let's go. Cheryl said, experience your impact. I absolutely love that. Yes, I am beyond powerful. I walk in me and me and for me. I love that. Thanks, Lolita. Yes, Del Elizabeth said that. And Ramona, come on, Ramona. Ramona said, I am shifting atmospheres. How powerful is that? As I close today, I want to remind you that you are. You are, <laughs> you are, A-R-E, you are ordained to serve. I am ordained to serve. And through these five strategies, I want to challenge your mind a little bit differently. I want you to know that when you experience Lolita, when you experience coaching cocktails and conversations, when you experience this greatness, then I want to remind you that you are ordained to serve. When I walk into a room, I can shift the atmosphere because I'm confident I am committed to what it is that I do every single day. Why? Because I know my strengths. Why? Because I can see on the other side that, that it has power. And I want you to see on the other side that it has power. And if you don't yet know that, then ask somebody. If you don't yet know that, then keep coming back. If you don't yet know that, then bring somebody in to shift the atmosphere that you are sitting in right now. You don't have to do it alone. There's people who have already been on a journey to which you are seeking to go. Open your eyes up differently. It's through experiences. I say all the time that the, my divorce was very painful, was, but it was life shifting. I found the renewed me. I found the dear forgotten me. When I wrote dear forgotten me, there's these, there's these thoughts that come to you. And when you explore differently, for me, I write. For me, I write. I didn't even remember that poetry was in me, but how poetry shifts people based on my words, based on can we talk? Can we talk? I'm saying out loud, I've already booked uh, July 22nd of 2023. I will be again at the Hollywood Barnes and Nobles at a book signing. What's the book, Lolita? Well, when it comes out, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> Absolutely. But guess when I'll have it for? Guess when I'll be ready because I'm saying it out loud. Is it scary to already book it? Is it scary to already book it? No, because I've already been there. I've already shown up in that. I've already written two books. So yes, I will write a third and a fourth and a fifth and a sixth because our words have power. Why? Because I know the power of my voice. Why? Because I told you exactly what my strengths are. I want you to walk in it. Today, I'm leaving you with, I am ordained to serve. S-E-R-V-E. -E. I hope you captured them. If not, go ahead back and listen to the replay. And I want to thank each and every one of you all for being here today for the power half an hour. And I'll see you all back next week. Thanks, you guys.